Kidney disease remains a definitive threat in Papua New Guinea, with an increasing number of people suffering from its symptoms. The Roger Hafa Kidney Foundation, when launching its inaugural fundraising drive, are hoping that with their help, the statistics on kidney disease will go down. This is our first major fundraising event since the formation of the Roger Hafa Kidney Foundation. I'd like to say special thanks to Sean of the Grand Papua Hotel for giving us the venue free of charge to hold our inaugural event um, and this evening, as well as Sylvia of um, Pasco Promotions for the free FOC set up. Thank you. Funds saved on venue costs and set up costs goes towards our um, kidney health mission. While only a handful were in attendance, the pledges given in would go into rolling out the foundation's objectives of promoting a healthy lifestyle as a means of preventing kidney disease, providing affordable quality and accessible kidney treatments, supporting kidney patients and their carers so they can make informed decisions and working collaboratively with all stakeholders in addressing kidney health issues in Papua New Guinea. For founder Michelle Haofa, that foundation was a journey through her own personal tragedy with the loss of her father, Roger, to the disease. And we walked that journey with my dad. Um, we felt the pain that our people feel. We were luckier than most who we were able to um, access private health care for dad. But still it was expensive and still it was painful. And so the Kidney Foundation was born out of our experience and uh, we do it out of love. It was the final item on last night's itinerary that would bring tears to her eyes as she shaved her head for kidneys. All in all, through donations in kind, cash and pledges, the foundation raised 154,000 kina. Donations to the foundation also came in various forms with young entrepreneur Crystal Kewe donating both her time and money to the foundation. The Roger Halfa Kidney Foundation is hoping to eventually have kidney centers all around Papua New Guinea. Jeremy Mogi, National TV News.